Of course you can. Do you want a couple? There's one, and here's one. Thank you. Sure, no problem. It's all right, God will show you that on Judgment Day, sir. You can laugh all you want, sinner. You can laugh all you want, sinner. You, 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 you homosexuals are so hateful, hateful. So hateful, so hateful. Homosexual community is so hateful. Absolutely hateful. You come over, get a gospel track, and you rip it up in my face. Yes, today is the day of salvation. There's something called freedom of speech, sir. Sorry. You're not in Canada. You're not in Canada. You're not in another country. You're in America. I have never said anything about your right to be here. You literally, literally just came up and ripped up my gospel track. Right in front of me. Do I have freedom of speech? You do. Freedom of action? Freedom of movement? Of course you do. Yeah. Well, certain actions. Obviously, if you hit me, that's against the law. Repent therefore and be ye converted. The Bible says that 1 Corinthians 6, 9, 10. The, sir, the cops were right there. Well, you got to repent and come to Christ and be forgiven. Sir, there's a police right there, right down the street. Look, right there. Today is the day of salvation. To the times of ignorance God winked at. Everybody can be forgiven if they repent and turn to Christ. Even the homosexuals, even the baby murderers, they can all be forgiven when they repent and turn to Jesus. Today is the day of salvation. The times of ignorance God winked at, but today is the day. Don't wait another day, my friend. Don't wait another day. Tick tock, time's running out. Sure. Turn to Jesus, miss. God's uh, word good, says, sir, How are you? Hi, Great. Hey, Officer Burdock. Good, how so, are you? Uh, I've talked to a lot of campus police already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they told me I'm, I'm well aware. I'm right in, in line with the law. You're in line with the law. I, yeah. I just, uh, if you would uh, not, you know, point certain people out. No, that's, that's part of the Bible. Of things or anything like that. No, well, it says homosexuals yeah, won't just, to God's, go to God's kingdom. That's going to happen with freedom of speech. Okay, you know? well. There'd be no reason for freedom of speech if people didn't like what was being said. Yeah, you know? well. If you're stopping certain people and pointing them out there. No, he came over, asked me for a gospel track, sir. Oh, okay. He came over, asked me for a gospel track, so he probably lied to you. Came over, ripped it up in my face, and then I let him know. Because he had his pride shirt on, and obviously he mentioned he's a homosexual. So I let him know according to God's word, not my standard, God's word, okay. homosexuals aren't right with God. But he can be. That's the good news. That's why I'm out here. If he repents and comes to Christ, his sins can be washed away. Yeah. So ask him if he ripped up one of my gospel tracks. I bet he left that part out. Yeah, I figured he would. It's all right. So, hey, thank okay. you for what you do, sir. Thank you so much. Right. I'm not against the police, I'm for the police. All right. Yeah, and I know you have a job to do. I'm not trying to make your job any harder. Yeah. Just try to be careful. Yes, sir. You know, certain people yeah. you know, don't understand. I know. Because, and I, I, uh, I, have, I have some great conversations, though, too. Great conversations. So yeah. it's not all about people coming against me like that. All right. Sometimes there's really good conversations. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. There's freedom from sin through Jesus. Freedom from sin. <coughs> Not freedom to continue in sin, but freedom from sin. The Bible says, the soul that sins, it shall die. No, I'm good. You good? You on this list? I'm a homosexual. Okay. Well, you're smiling, so I don't think you are. Wait, what, what's wrong with homosexuals? The Bible, there's nothing. Well, the Bible says that it's an abomination, and they need to repent and come to Christ. Get the fuck out of here. You know. And let's listen to your mouth, sir. You have a wicked heart. <clears throat> repent and come to Christ. You can be, you can be eating your sandwich for Jesus, sir. Eating your sandwich for Jesus. <laughs> Today, give your life to Jesus. There'll be no laughing in hell. There'll be no laughing on Judgment Day. Put a lighter under your hand, you won't last. Hell is much worse. God's Word says in James 4, 7 through 10, 
Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. I was you. once an enemy of God. I was on most of this list 13 years ago. Christ changed me, For the love of God, shut made up. me new. Wait, shut other up. side, other side. Sure. Yeah, let me just read this one. For sure, go ahead. You seem really, you seem really smart. Do you have a job? Yes, I have a job. Do you have a job? Halloween, do you have a job? Halloween. Do you have a job? Halloween. Do you have a job? Yeah. I do. What's your job? I do. Yeah, sure you do. I do. Oh, Sitting on a corner at one p.m. <clears throat> Good job, yeah. buddy. I own my own What's business, on? sir. I take Fridays off. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was on most of this list, but I repented and came to I'm Christ. Sure you were. Yeah. So judgment day is coming, guys. Make sure you get right with God. Might be jokes right now, won't be jokes when you take your last breath. You can, judgment day is coming. You better repent, sinners. Yeah, you will be scared, miss. You will be scared. Oh, the sinners strengthen themselves in their sin. They hold hand in hand and they'll both fall into a ditch. Both fall into the pits of hell. Strengthen themselves in their sin. Yeah, you're convicted. That's why you stopped. You're convicted. But you walk away in apathy, thinking, I told the preacher. I told the preacher. But judgment day is still coming, whether you told the preacher or not. Doesn't make judgment day go away. Doesn't make hell go away. The Bible's clear, unless you repent, you shall likewise perish. The Bible's clear. It says, Repent therefore and be ye converted, that your sins might be blotted out. And times of refreshment might come from the presence of the Lord. How are you? Good, miss. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Good. My name is Mel. I'm not going to take anything with a pride flag on it, though. Sorry. I'm not giving you anything. Oh, it looks like there's a pride flag. flag right there. I do. We just came from an event that was held mm. in this building. Okay. And, um,. Have you been inside our buildings? No, I just preach outside. You just preach outside. It's a public campus, so. Yeah, I just, I just wondered if you had been inside any of the buildings. No, not no. Maybe in the future. I don't know. Oh, maybe at the bookstore years ago. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, the bookstore. Okay. Maybe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How you doing? Good. I'm. I'm good. Are you following yeah. Jesus? Always. Okay. Always. I'm a Roman Catholic. I'm okay. Great faith. Have you uh, repented of all your sins? Um, I consider my, you know. I, I'm a humanist. Hi, how are you, Mark? Uh, so you're a Catholic slash humanist? Well, no, not in the traditional sense of humanist. I okay. am a Catholic who very much believes that I am a lover, not a sinner. Okay. And I don't follow a faith that is um, based in judgment of mm. others. And okay. of, so you follow a false god, one made after your own, your own image. No, I don't follow a false god. I follow the Holy Spirit. I follow That's god not the Holy god. Spirit, because the judgment uh, day is coming. But no, you know, that's, yeah, in, judgment that's coming. in your perspective. No, the Bible's there, pretty clear. There are it's a point if a man wants to die. Now, wants wait a minute. When you look around this campus... It's a point if a man wants to die, and after this is the judgment. When you look around the campus, yeah. and you see and any human being. This isn't do they judgment. All look like you? This isn't judgment. It has no, nothing to do with my skin color. No, but I'm to my point. It has nothing to do with my skin color. Tell me your name again. Eric. Eric. Yeah. So Eric, to to your point about human beings being, do you believe that we're created in the image of God? Of course. Yeah. But we've so all gone astray. That image... We've all gone astray. Now he's calling us back. So does that? Image do you believe be... that we've all gone astray? No, I don't. So you don't believe that we've all sinned? No, I don't. Well, that's not against God. That's against God's word. Really? Yeah. John 3.23 yeah, says, you know for what? all have sinned and fallen God. short. I am created by God. I am, I have divinity you're made. Me. You're made in the image of God. But right now yeah, you're, so what but does right that now, image include? Does it right now you're a child divine? of the devil. Right now you're a child of the devil. Oh, I am yeah. not a child well, of the devil. Well, you're coming against his word. No, I'm not. Let me give you good verses. It says in 1 John 2, 3, 4, by this we know that we know him. Okay. If we, so, hold on, hold on. So, it, by this we know that we know him. Yeah. If we keep his commandments. Right. He who says he knows him and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So right now you're speaking to me lies that come against God's word. What, what so I have to correct you. What have I broken? You just said that there's no judgment. God doesn't judge. 
you also said that I don't judge whether God judges or not is up to my God not to me not you make, up but to you make you, judgments every day up to, but it's every not single up day to, up every day you make us. judgments you know you do you made a judgment to put on the clothes you're wearing today you made of a judgment to get I your did. food whatever but you wanted to buy at the store up to me it's not up to any any leader of a, of a faith I'm I am Catholic I don't consider myself a leader of a faith I'm just a born-again yeah, Christian but you're finding it within yourself to give no that's through the Holy Spirit people. Do you know that the Bible says the law of the Lord is perfect, this converting is the soul? so offensive. Oh, but I was, so I was on most people. of this list, but I've been saved from it. Saved from it. I no longer do it. But I've been saved why, from most of it. Uh, my through Jesus. My question to you, Eric, is yeah. why you feel the need to draw attention and to draw divisiveness of oh, people Jesus of, says, of God. Jesus says if the world hates you, you know it hated me before it hated you. What happened to Jesus? And Crucified Jesus, on the cross. Jesus ate dinner Cruci with tax collectors. Yeah, he, but he, he called them to repentance. Always called them to repentance. It wasn't well, to sit there know, in, I, in I, sin. You know, I, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. It wasn't you. sitting with them in I sin. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. I yeah. hear you. Praise God. And to, <clears throat> to my point, mm -hmm. what within you do you believe gives you the right Love. to judge? Love. 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 So yeah. love, this does not speak oh, of no, love. Oh, no, no. The Bible says in Proverbs 27, 5, this 6. This does not speak of love. Open this rebuke. Is, speaks of Open rebuke. Separation. Yeah, there's going to be a separation of the wheat and the tares, of the bad and the good, you know, of the unholy and the holy. That judgment day is coming one day, and anyone who's not found in Christ is going to be cast in the lake of fire. So and it's urgent. What gives it's urgent. you the right to say that, you know, God Muslims gives me the right. Are, are not. You do realize that Muslims don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And that's what all of Christianity is based on. All of the Bible is based on the Son of God and, dying for and, our sins and raising and, from the grave. And you don't believe in a God that has created us all, whether he has created us all or not, that we are part baptism, of God. Water baptism, water baptism doesn't save you. Baptism of the Holy Spirit saves you. So um, if a person leads a wonderfully good life and does not... Um, associate mm -hmm. with whether they're Baptist, whether they're I'm not a, Catholic, I don't follow denomination. Yeah. So that's I don't follow my denomination. Ask. Yeah. That's my ask. If, so if some so you, let me ask you is, this is your question. Is, if someone this is, is your not question. Attached if someone's to religion, if someone's living a moral life yes. being good to others. Right. But the Bible's still clear. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. They've sinned at one time in their life and they need a savior. They need the blood of Jesus to wash away their sins. They need an atonement. So I've lied in the past. I've looked with lust in the past. I've had hate in my heart in the past. I've done all those things in the past. But once I've repented and come to Christ, right. he cleansed me and changed me. Uh -huh. Not only cleansed me from my sin. Oh, you take but, a picture of your poster? Sure. But he empowered me to go and sin no more right. through him, not through right. my own strength. Yeah. I'm not here out of my own strength. I'm out of here by the Holy Spirit. Because honestly, if you would have told me 13 years ago, I was born again 13 years ago, that I'd be doing this, yeah. I would have said, you're crazy. You're can nuts. I, can yeah. I ask you why you yeah. um, choose yeah. here and now? Um, I go all over. Yeah. Nothing personal against the Lehigh. Yeah. It's a beautiful campus. It is a but I have to campus. preach to the people, not birds and squirrels. I got to go where people are. So I right. preach in New York City. Right. I preach all over the place. Okay. All over. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, Kutztown and, University, and, you know, East Strasburg. Right. It's a public, it's a, yeah. it's a, it's a public yeah. uh, a sidewalk. I'm thankful we still have those laws in this country. Yes. Freedom yes. of religion, yes. freedom of speech, yes. 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 right to yes. peaceful assembly. Um, what kind <clears> of engagement, if you don't mind my asking, have you had with students? Um, um, the, the engagement can be different at times. Some people come humbly and they want to learn more. Some people are apathetic. They just walk by, could care less. Um, other people lash out. I mean, look what happened to Jesus. They put him on the cross. Most of the apostles were probably killed for their faith. Um, so bad things are going to happen when you preach God's word. So you, you find this rainbow offensive? Offensive to God. Yeah. Offensive but, to God. But God has made me divine. I'm queer and divine. No, he didn't make you divine. You're oh, not, you're I not, am of God. You're, 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 I am you, of God. You're, you, he, he, I am he created you. I am made in he created their you. image. But you're still, know, right I, now, you're a child he's of the not devil. A he. He's not you're, a he. He, boy. Jesus was a he. Over and I, over and over, God, God, God is, is shown as he in the Bible. No. Yeah. That, that's over that's and over and over. To the interpretation no, of it says he. Clearly, it says he. Yeah, but there was And we have the manuscript abbots. We have the Hebrew and we have the Greek. Miss, come on. We have the Hebrew and the Greek. We can go back. There was language 2,000 years ago to describe God. Yes, there was. It was only binary. Yes, Yahweh. 
Yeah, we have we have the yeah. we have their Hebrew yeah. Yeah. and we have the Greek yeah. manuscripts. Right. We can go right. back and look right. look at those. Right, right. So, but I'm talking about faith of today, not faith of two thousand years ago. I'm talking about the Bible the never fact changes. That the Holy Spirit never changes. My God's God word doesn't change. Again, has, it's a God has, you created in your own image, not in the image of the Bible. Not in the Who's image of the Holy God. The Bible? Do you think God, this stuff came Jesus Christ, out of God's mouth? Holy men of God spoke as they are moved by the men Holy Spirit. Who had an agenda yes. to no, suppress no, no, no. women. See, who had an agenda you're trying to, to justify your sin. No, I'm not. That's what you're doing. No, I'm you said not. you're homosexual. You're trying to justify your sin. I am not. But Jesus died for you so that not. you might be there saved, miss. There was no miss. language for the word homosexual. There was yes, no language. Yes, Arsenokotais and Malakos, if you look it back in the Greek. Right. Arsenokotais okay. and Malakos. Okay. So man with man, woman with woman. Also, you can look at Romans 1. One. of the Bible had issues. No, they no, did. They no. did. Because you can't At the very beginning, God's... Oh. Did God make Adam and Eve or did he make Adam and Steve? He made human beings. What happens if all of creation is homosexual? He made the whole human, human race will cease to exist. He made human beings. They will cease to exist. He made human beings. Miss, you can't argue you with know that. What? There is you can't love argue with that. In this is love. There's love in families that are queer, bringing children into this world. Mm. Yeah. There's more yeah. than one way to be family of man and woman. There yeah. absolutely is. Miss, that's and an abomination to God. No, it's, it's an not. abomination. No, yeah. it's not. Yeah. I, and I, you know, Eric, I believe that you believe that. We're having and a good cordial conversation, here's, here's right? Here's what I believe. So, you know, just as all. But I just say don't want you, you to. I don't want you to get right. confused and call yourself a Christian when you're not. I am. I'm you're a not a Christian. Yeah, yeah, I am. Catholics aren't Christians. No, well, Catholics yeah, aren't Christians. Yeah, we are. No. Yeah, we are. They follow the Pope. And yeah. you don't, I don't think you even follow the Pope. I think you follow your own religion. The okay. one that you made up with your head. Right. Because it doesn't go against, because it doesn't go according to God's word. And I believe that my faith in my creator You're saying my spirit. faith, my faith. That's yes. what you're saying. Yes. Not faith in God's my, word. Not faith, faith in the God of creation. In, my faith mm -hmm. in my God, in my creator, mm -hmm. is based in love, in based, is based in... Are you a mother? Yes, I am. I have three sons. Have you ever said things to your children that hurt them at the moment, but was good for them in the end? I don't want to hear about tough love and all that nonsense. That's what it is. Really That's don't. what it is. I really do. Yeah, of course you I don't want really to hear about that. No, I don't. Because it's a good analogy, and you don't want no, to accept it. No, it's a lousy analogy. You don't even want to accept it. Really do you have kids? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. yeah. It's a lousy analogy. It's a good analogy. it doesn't leave any space for my conscience, which is... The, pr the primacy of conscience. Yeah, your is, conscience is feeling convicted right now. No, the Holy Spirit not. drew you over to me to talk. It did. Otherwise, you could have just walked on by. And I've done but it. But you're feeling with convicted. Eric. Yeah, you're, you're, I wanted to. You're feeling I convicted. To have a conversation just to feel out because we have students who are very much offended by your presence. It's okay. There's a couple that talk to me that not. They're Christians. There is Christians on this campus. I don't know if you know that, but there's uh, Christians on this thoughts, campus. Folks. What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts? Um, yeah, I don't really agree with any of that. It's cool sign though. Okay. It's cool? Have a good day. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Well, you gotta repent and turn to Christ, sir, okay? Okay. Eric, take care. Have so a good day. So, if I don't come out and warn my neighbor, it's not loving. <clears throat> Me as a Christian, as a born-again Christian, I believe and follow God's word. So, if I believe, which the Bible says, that people are going to hell and sin, that would mean I would be a terrible person as a Christian. Oh, what a, how does a loving God disrespect everyone, give kid, kids cancer, start wars, rape children, sin. rape women? Sin. Again, why did sin. God create sin then? Sin. He didn't create it. He didn't create sin. He didn't create sin, sir. Don't run, sir. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Come back and come have a conversation. You're running. Well, come back. Come back and talk. Sin. Sin causes those things. God weeps and mourns over those things. So why did God but create sin? If God, God power, didn't create, God sin. Didn't create sin. sin. God didn't create God sin. Man, which has sin, therefore it is on God. Man gave themselves over to the temptations and lusts. Nope, God you have free man. will. God created man. Do you believe you have free will? So if Do you, you believe you have free will? will? How can everyone believe in God? They have a choice so to make. Have they have a cho choice to make. But if you That's free will, sir. Those, free will is making a choice. If you believe right? all those Come on. Are sins. I was on a lot of this list, sir, before I was saved. I was on most of this list. I was no, lost. No, what's the difference between your saving and a Jewish saving? Because I repented and came saving. to Christ and Jesus saved and me and cleansed me. Saving. Like, what's the difference? That's my issue, right? You, you, you are taking all of these people and compartmentalizing them into the bad and the good. This is what God's word says. God's word's God my standard. 
many, many God's word's my standard. And God has many There's one interpretation. There's one interpretation. When it says the soul that sins shall die, it's pretty clear. There's not pretty clear. One interpretation when I have 10 different people tell me that 10 different things mean 10 different Well, then you know what you need to do? You need to read the Bible for yourself. That's how you can come to an understanding of God's knowledge. Again, my understanding is not your understanding, so once again, we are at a difference. See, it's not all about condemnation. Look it. There is saved, there is grace, there is mercy. From your sins, but my sins and your sins are not the same thing. They, I know they're not. So how can yeah. you save me from my sins? Because we have all sinned. Whether it be lying, lust, porn watching, drunkenness, drug use. So why did God create those things? He didn't create sin. You think that God created Satan to sin? No. God gave people free will. He gave the angels free will to rebel against him. Satan rebelled against him. A third of the angels fell from God heaven. Created Mankind. God created heaven and God created hell. How did Satan? Yes. He What's that? Satan. He created, he created it's Lucifer and he became why, Satan. Why did he create us? Because God's a creator of all things. Look why at a creation. He create He's a creation. Why did he create us an option to kill people? That Free will. Like a very That's love. Person. He wants people to love him freely. It sounds like he created us. He wants system. people he wants to love him freely, to sir. Become greedy, inherently do the wrong thing, inherently do things incorrectly. It's not inherent. He can teach us. It's not inherent. It's, we didn't inherit like, sin. It's like the we Trump choose fallacy. to sin. It's like the Trump fallacy. Trump creates Trump problems, problems in order to save I don't follow Trump. Well, I'm, not, okay. I'm not saying you do. I'm yeah. saying that's what Trump. I think Trump needs to repent too. I uh, completely agree. <clears throat> in my opinion, Trump creates problems. And Biden and Harris. <laughs> no one's right in that game. Yeah. Everyone's wrong. Like, yeah, let's not go in that direction. Yeah. They create, <coughs> create problems in yeah. order to solve solutions. Well, mankind created the problem, but God created the solution through Jesus Christ. So when someone repents and comes to Christ, they become what the Bible calls God, born again. Can, can I speak a little bit? Can yeah. I talk a little bit? Yes, so the Bible says when we repent and believe the gospel, we become born again. We receive God's Holy Spirit. Now we continue to endure to the end. One, God, one day God promises a new heavens and a new earth where righteousness dwells. So right now, the Bible says a day is but a thousand years and a thousand years is but a day. So to God, a thousand years is like one day. It's, it doesn't even matter. But to us, it seems like, yeah, there you go. It seems like time goes on forever. But God promises us a new earth and a new heavens. No more sin, no more crying, no more pain, no more rape, no more murder, no more. You got to get in the ark. Jesus Christ is the ark. Because God does not ever condemn slavery. God says, Yeah, he does. Yes, he does. Oh, yes, he does. And how to take care of slaves. No, he actually says, Where does God condemn slavery in the Bible? I do not believe it's in the Bible. You know, you do realize that in the Bible, we're talking about, in terms of slavery, it's not talking about the slavery of today. No, it's not it's talking about colored slavery. No, it's, it's, called, it's talking about indentured servitude in times. So people had to give themselves into slavery to rich families to save their children at times of poverty. So if you look at that, you read it in context, you'll see those things in context. Yes, there. Why do they yes there was conquering. Unto other people the if they the should camera. be surrendering themselves unto God. What's that? Why are they surrendering themselves unto other people? Uh, if they should because be they were following false gods. There's been false gods all, all in during time. All during time. Real and the other ones are not. Because I have the spirit of God in me. I have the spirit of God in me. No, see, that's a fallacy. You can, you can, no, no, I'm telling you the truth of my, of my God. But I can also tell you, yes, I can. Yes, I can. You can also do your research. There can only be one God, right? I've done my research, and if I want to believe in a pastafarian flying spaghetti monster, oh, here we go. Just about here we go. Evidence as you do. There can only be one God, right? Because no, no that's there, not true. yes, there is. is God true. has to be all powerful. No, nope. He has to be all knowing. Nope. He has to be all loving. Nope. Yes, Bible He has to be. He has to be present everywhere nope. at every moment. Your Bible says that. The Hindu one does not say that. The Quran. Yeah. Say that. There's, I don't, there, I don't there know. is one God. The Hindus have thousands of gods. Of course, of course they do. Of course they do. They have thousands of God, and there's been pagan religions all throughout time. Exactly. So you need to do your research. Judaism, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity. Here's the difference with Judaism. I do not have to believe in a higher power. I do not need to surrender myself to a What do you mean? In Judaism, Judaism, they believe in God, Yahweh. They, they believe in God. They've been believing Yahweh. You need to believe in God in order to be a Jewish person. You need to intrinsically hold the values in your heart of other people and the Jewish faith. You do not, you do not need to have a higher power. You do not need to believe in an upper power being. That is the difference in Judaism. Well, Judaism, they follow, they follow the Torah. They follow the so Torah, they follow they, the Torah. But they do not need to surrender themselves to a higher God. So if you're not following the Torah to follow the as a Jew, the, are you really a Jew? Maybe you were born in a Jewish family, but you're not a practicing Jew. And if I'm following you're a not a practicing Bible, Jew. If I'm following a different, Bible, a different Bible than you do, am I still Christian? 
It's what's 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 Christ the different Christ Bible? Oh, Catholic there's Bible. Movie, there's a different. There's a bunch of different interpretations of the Bible. There's a bunch of different variants. They're in different texts. languages. Right. So how is they're there, in different texts. And, and again, so a different language is now a different Bible. But we have the Byzantine text. We have the Byzantine text that hasn't been corrupted. We have the Alexandrian text that was lost for do some you time. Speak those languages. I don't have to speak then them. You do not I have a concordance. Bible. If you didn't read the original text, you have not read. Oh, stop it! You sound like Islam. You sound like a Muslim now. So what's wrong with Muslims? Are you saying that people can't? convert one language into another and have an understanding of something. That's what you're saying. So then all of the books that you read in college, you might as well throw them away because they're, they're in English if they came from another language. That's what you're saying. And that's what I'm saying. I speak English as well. It wasn't written in English. My textbooks were written in English. But I'm telling you, whatever textbooks, whatever textbooks you're reading, they came from other languages, you can't trust them. You gotta throw them away. You gotta throw them away. By your logical standard, that's what you need to do. My textbooks, I can look at the authors, and I can read. These are the 60 people that help write my textbook. In I can do the same thing. The UK. I can do the same thing with mine. I can do the same thing with the Bible. Nope. Textual criticism. Who wrote, who wrote the Bible? God. Through holy men have spoke the moves so by the Holy Spirit. Once again, God is an all-powerful being. He yes, he never is. never visited earth. Where did the Bible come Yes, he did. Jesus Christ visited the earth. He's Jesus the son of God. Jesus is not God. He's the son of God. No, we never established that, sir. We never established that. The Bible is pretty plain. Jesus, Jesus is Christ is the son of God. He grows Jesus from the grave. Jesus Christ is not God. He's the son of God. He is not God. God that manifests in the flesh. So again, you said God wrote the 1 Timothy 3.16, it says, Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached in the Gentiles, believed in the world, and received up into glory. That's Jesus Christ. John 1.1, 1, 1. in the beginning was the word, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was God. If the son of God, if someone's the son of God, that means he's divine. He's the son of God. He came through the virgin birth. No Where's man, no sperm. Where is the proof that he exists? My father studied theology at Rutgers. He came to the conclusion that Jesus might have existed. However, he came to the conclusion that many of his stories were most likely over embellished. Well, that's because he fall, started following the world in some way. He left his first love. He left Jesus. My dad. And followed, the Bible talks about my that. My dad followed the evidence. That's what my dad did. My dad could not find the evidence to support that Jesus. He didn't do a good job then. He didn't do a good job. He needs to go back. He needs to go back. Maybe he was never born again. He might have never been born again. Oh, my dad has a <coughs> bachelor's in theology and second half. Sure. I wonder if he has a degree. Um, with what is God? You don't have to have a degree with, in order to have an argument. You don't have to have a degree in order to have How do you discussion. explain nature? You need to have a... Through God. Of course. Can you explain that to me? Through God. No, no. Like, actually explain that. How do you explain nature through God? Explain that. You got to go into more depth. Like, okay. With what is currently going on with nature, mm -hmm. we see both creation and destruction at the same time. For sure. You see that right now. It's fall. Yeah. The harvest season. It's creation. Mm -hmm. It's also destruction. Yeah. How do you explain that through God as creation, who is just creation? He is not destruction because, as you said, he's all loving. Why would someone that loves you... Yeah, but you? love doesn't mean that you allow people to continue in sin. However, that's not what I'm saying. Love, like love, lo love. No, 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 I turn it around so there's, there's two signs. Yeah. Yeah. Two signs. Yeah, oh, no, I wasn't hiding it. I'm not ashamed yeah. of God's word. I'm right. never ashamed of God's word. Can so you your name or organization? Dude, what's that again? Can I have your name? Oh, I'm born again. A born again Christian? Yeah. Okay. What organization are you with? Jesus. That's not technically. That's I'm with Jesus. I don't understand what you mean by what organization. Because, like, uh. Church? I'm a born. Oh yeah, we have a church, but it's in New Jersey. Yeah, I mean I'm from the area. I Give live in the Lehigh Valley. Email. What's that? Give a phone number or email. Um, I don't have. I, I'm not going to give you those things. Well, what about for your church? Here, I'll give you gospel track. Here. This doesn't have anything. Yeah, it's on the bottom. Church. You can see at the bottom. You can contact us. All right, there you go. I'm actually of a practicing other faith. Um, okay. So it's interesting to see how yeah, we so nature. God created the heavens and the earth. And right now we have seed harvesting time. We have times that the days will continue on. All these things will continue on. Mm -hmm. God holds them in place. Mm -hmm. But we can see the destruction of sin in the world. Mm -hmm. Sin brings decay of the body. Sin brings death. Sin brings the hurricane. Sin brings destruction on this earth. And God promises that when someone repents and believes the gospel and turns to Jesus Christ in faith and endures to the end, that they're gonna inherit a new earth and a new heavens where righteousness dwells. There's never gonna be any more lying, no more pain, no more sorrow. Yeah. Since you say that 
sin leads to all this destruction, all yeah. this death. Well, you can see the effects of it in your life. When someone gets drunk, what happens? They can throw I, up their, I, they throw up their guts, right? Of course you can, yeah. So, you say this. Yeah. Yeah, how do you explain plants? Say plants again? wither. Plants die. Of course, everything, li well, there's, a, there's a life cycle. There's no sin in plants. They cannot sin. Well, of course not. So we have, we have a soul and we have a spirit. How do you we have a soul and spirit. <laughs> we have a soul and spirit. Say that again. Wait, so if so, plant, so if, like, how could a plant sin? sin? It has no conscience. So it, 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 it has no soul. So if, if a plant has no sin, spirit. It should be immortal. Drugs. Should it not? No, because because of the things in the earth. God created things to go through seasons. We have seasons on the earth. But God created those things those? to show we see to show that life. We see that we do not I think it's a beautiful food. thing. God shows life and death, <laughs> right in front of your eyes. Life. And one but moment, death. If he and that's that, the same with you. Sin, Life and death. And he sees that through sin. Why does he give the plants sin? Why does he kill them? He's showing us the life cycle. That shouldn't be a thing. There's a life cycle. There shouldn't be. And he's reminding us that we look at these beautiful trees, it's gonna uh -huh. go through a season, all these leaves are gonna fall off. Some of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. What about the others? Like you said, this plant's gonna die. Yeah. But you know what the cycle of life? It comes back again. It won't. It comes back again. This you know what I mean? Won't. These are not perennials. Oh, well. Plants sometimes are not perennials. That will go back so, if it's cut back far enough. So You can't explain. <coughs> so if I did just explain to you. God shows you the cycle of life. You don't want to accept it. Okay. God's so showing you the God cycle of life. The cycle of life. Yeah, the cycle of life. Cycle of life. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. The cycle of life. That that's you're going to die too. I'm going to die too. No, I understand that. And that's why it's urgent if for I you to die, turn to Christ. I go down to the underworld. No. I don't believe in that same faith. Yeah. I don't go to hell. I don't go to heaven i go on and, my own and what's your standard of truth on my own standard yeah what's your standard of truth duality. i go based on duality and what where do you good, get where do you bad. where do you get that standard of truth from there is a standard of truth yeah you get that standard of truth somewhere no. good just, good and evil where's it come from not really there's no where's it good, come from there's though there's no good inherently there's no bad inherently there is not entirely. if someone if someone stole something from you right now you would know that someone wronged you no so logically, like, you'd okay, want to go and yeah, don't come on now. If someone on, stole your backpack, me, you would get campus security because you know someone just did something wrong for I mean, you. If someone stole my backpack right off of my yeah, bed, because I'd probably chase you can't them, deny that. Stop them. But why would you chase them? Because something like, wrong was done to you. Not something. Really, no, you're just denying it. Come on, now you're just denying it. Hold on. You're denying Let me it. Explain why I mean. I'm just getting a drink. Because okay. <clears throat> the way I see it, the <clears throat> world is not black and white. The world is shades of gray. The world is meant to be shades of gray. Okay. So, inherently, there is no inherent bad. As in, something that has occurred is bad. It I never said that we inherited no. sin. No, that's not sin true. isn't something we are, it's something we do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and we make a choice. Exactly. I know so, there are some Christians who believe that. I don't believe that. Yeah, however, well, I don't do you believe, believe I don't original sin? No. You don't? No. Okay. Not at all. Interesting. So that actually yeah. taught me a lot. Yeah. Believe. I believe that we're going to be held accountable for our own sin, not for the sins of Adam. Okay, so yeah. that makes no sense. In in yes, it does. Well, in, well in the Adam's sin brought sin and death into the world. Yeah. But so, now the Bible says the soul that sins it shall okay. die. So the prior, son. Prior, let me give you a verse. Adam, the son shall not bear the guilt of the father, uh -huh. nor the father bear the guilt of the son. Mm -hmm. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. Mm -hmm. So that clearly shows in the Bible mm -hmm. that I'm not being held accountable for Adam's sin. He brought sin and death in the world through his disobedience, him and Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. but we're gonna be held accountable for our own sin. But God sent Jesus. How do you explain transmittable <clears throat> sexual transmitted diseases? It's like food, a judgment. I would say it's a judgment from God. It's a judgment? For sure. So if you're yeah. a child. There's a judgment of sin in the earth. And you are given HIV through your family, through your, through your mother. That's unfortunate. So you're saying that God judged you because of your family. No, 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 no. Now, no, children, exactly no. Talking. Now, people are affected through mm -hmm. people's bad choices. Would you agree? Yeah. Those HIV children, those children were affected through a bad choice of the parents. Mm, okay. You can't put that on God. And if they okay? wanted the child? And if they what? And if they wanted the child and they didn't know that they had HIV or AIDS? It's a very common thing, actually, that people don't know that they have HIV or AIDS until they get it. That's no fault of the child's. Yeah. Children, children go, don't go to hell. Good. I don't believe in that either. Good. You know, there, you comes to, there comes to an age of accountability where we know right from wrong, and that's when we'll be held accountable by God. Mm -hmm. You know, whether, whether, that God, whether that age is 11, 15, 
16, 12, I have no idea. God knows each individual person what a that age is. Okay. But I do not believe in any way that babies mm -hmm. are born sinful. I don't believe that babies go to hell. So do you That's baptize anyone? Like People should church? be baptized, mm -hmm. but water baptism doesn't save you. Okay. You gotta be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Yeah. How do you get baptized in the Holy Spirit? Once you repent and believe the gospel. Believe in the, believe in the death, burial, and resurrection. Believe that his sacrifice on the cross mm -hmm. is sufficient enough to cleanse you and wash you of all sin. Mm -hmm. Repent. Turn from all sin in your life and follow Jesus. Okay? So, may I ask We you? should get water baptized, though. It's a commandment of God. Yeah. But it doesn't save you. Okay. It doesn't save you. It so, doesn't, doesn't wash away okay. sin. So, how do you know that you actually believe? My obedience. Your obedience? Yeah. So, your obedience is your belief? Yes. Bible says, faith without works is dead. I'll show you my faith without your works, without your works, and I'll show you my faith by my works. Okay. So, by me being out here spreading the word of God, it shows that I'm being obedient but to God's word. The other thing is, when you are spreading your word of God, mm -hmm. you sometimes spread it through hate, as we saw. No, 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 this isn't well, hate. This, not, is, this is not, it's look, not hate everybody outright. thinks this word says hate. It says warning, warning. It's warning. not hate outright, but it is. It's warning. It is hate, because when we see it, people on this campus, we don't want to entirely see when it. You, but you have it to wait, though. You, you can't say we. Because not everybody agrees of with course. you. Yeah, a lot of people of come up to me and agree. Of course. A lot of people we are Christians. Not, we is yeah. as in like, we is in a general population, mm -hmm. but not everyone. It's not a confirmed number of people. Can I respond? Sure. The Bible tells us to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. Lehigh University is all the world. So I come to preach the word. Everybody has free will to make a choice. They can yeah. repent and believe the gospel. They can continue to walk by in apathy. They can yell and scream at me. They can call the police mm -hmm. or they can repent and come to Christ and be saved and be born again. And that's why I'm out here. The question it's is, not because I hate people, because I love them. It's love, it's love. Can you convince me to repent? No. No? No, you gotta make that choice yourself. Okay. I can only, I can only, I can only give you the scriptures and encourage you to come to Christ. Because if you die tonight, you will go to hell, the, the hell that you don't believe in. I would you know? go to hell. Well, it's the hell that you don't believe in. But well, I would go to hell, but not this hell. Why would you want to go to hell anyway, when you can have a savior, Jesus? Yeah. It's always, because it's interesting to see how people react with pain. Yeah, this is a public street. Yeah, campus police have been here many times. Um, the thing is, yeah. with pain comes a certain resistance. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, pain can strengthen you. I agree. Allow the child to go to hell. Allow the person to go, the spirit to go to hell. Oh, no. No way. I don't want that. So God doesn't want that either. That's against pain. God's word. No. That's of the devil. You never yeah. make it out. You'll never make it out of hell. There's no exits. What if there is? No what exits from hell. Place? There's no, there is none. That's what God's word says. Hypothetically. Well, I'm not going to. I'm not dealing with hypotheticals. I'm dealing with God's word. Okay, that's fair. Since, can you explain to me where in the Bible it says there is hell? Yeah, uh, the Bible talks about that in Revelation. You can find that over and over in Revelation. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, if your right eye hand causes you to sin, pluck it out and cast it from you, for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than your whole body to be cast into hell. And if your right eye causes you to sin, cut it, pluck it out and cast it from you. It is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. Jesus talks so much about hell, so much about hell, because he's warning people not to come to this place. Mm -hmm. A really good place in the Bible, if you want to see a full description of hell, is in Luke 16. Talk it talks about the rich man and Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Clear account of hell in Luke 16. So if you get a chance to read that, I would encourage so you to read that. What do you think Can I ask about, you a question real quick? Yeah, What's your face paint mean? It's traditional. Okay. It's traditional. Are you an Indian? An Indian or am I saying the right word? What's, what word would I say? What's that? Mesoamerican. Mesoamerican. Okay. So, I was just interested, that's all. Makes sense. Yeah. Most people are yeah. in time. Some people um, but no, I'm intrigued to see in what people Yeah, I like this conversation. I like it. So, the other thing is, I want to ask you a question on what do you personally do, personally? Not what you mean my you job. for your church, no. Oh. Outside your job, outside the church, outside of everything. Okay. What do you do as, assumedly, a father? I don't know if you are. Yeah, yeah I'm a father. You're, you're a father. Okay. Are you married? Yes. Okay. So, what do you do for your family for them to see the goodness of God? Besides reading scripture, besides the action. Yeah, of course. Yes. What do you do? So, I try to be the best father I can be. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I have a job, I have a business, yeah. providing for my family. 
try to raise my children up in the right way. The Bible says they won't depart from it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have free will, so in my house, there's two that are saved and two that are not. And the Bible talks about that, that even people of your own family will be against you at times. Yeah. You know, totally Christ, Christ comes yeah. to bring division, not peace on earth, totally you know? Agree. So um, I just try to be the best father I can. I lead them to Jesus through the scriptures. Like I said, I have one daughter who saved. The other daughter was starting to follow Jesus, but she fell back into the world. Pray she repents. My wife has never believed. She believes, she, she has a lukewarm belief, like the, chur the, the, the church belief. Like, yeah, like you go to church and think you're a Christian just because you go to church. Well, that type of that belief. That is what most people believe. Yeah, unfortunately. You gotta be born again though, the Bible says. Well, yeah. with what we know about like- I used to go to church. I used to use the yeah. church before I was ever born again. <laughs> you know, I sat in a so, pew and I was never even saved. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, this is interesting when people say this. Yeah. But Catholicism and Christianity are both <laughs> the largest religions aside from uh, Buddhism and um, Hinduism. Yeah. And Islam. I don't honestly, I mean, I don't believe Catholics, I don't believe Catholics in general are, are Christians. Okay. You know, I believe they follow the Pope. I believe they follow the Roman papacy. Uh, I'm not saying there can't be Catholics that are saved. I'm not saying that. Some Catholics I'm sure are saved, mm -hmm. but there's going to come a point, the more you read your Bible, mm -hmm. you're going to come out of that mm -hmm. and you're going to start following, just following Jesus. Mm -hmm. You're not going to think that the Roman Catholic church is the vehicle to get you to heaven anymore. Okay. You're going to realize that it's only through Christ, so, you know? With that example. Most of my family were Roman Catholic. Yeah, I, I come yeah. I, from myself. Have yeah. come from the I myself, I'm a born again Christian. You can, mm -hmm. John 3, 1 through 8, mm -hmm. born again so, Christian. So, question. <laughs> With that, mm -hmm. when you, when you decide on what traditions you do for Christianity, for Catholicism, for my, for example, I, I follow, I used to follow a Roman Catholic and a Hispanic Roman Catholic. Okay. So, I have things like La Virgen de Guadalupe. What's that mean? La Virgen de Guadalupe is the Virgin uh, Mary of Guadalupe. Okay. She was a essentially the Virgin Mary. She was the Virgin Mary. Mm -hmm. She came down to Mexico to show, hey, this is a real thing. We need you to build a temple. Yeah, you wouldn't find that in the Bible, though. Exactly. So it's but false. It is tradition. It's tradition. Sorry, it's tradition. Can I take the photo of, the of course. Binder? Yeah, for sure. So, Did you want both sides, Miss, or no? I just I'll take the other side. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Can I give you something to read, Miss? Is that okay? Sure thing. There you go. Thank you. There you go. Have a good day. Um, our church is in New Jersey. Um, I'm from the area, but I drive to the church. Our church is in uh, is in um, Tom's River, New Jersey. So it's about two hours from here. Are you a Baptist or not? No, I'm a born again Christian. I'm a born again Christian. Yeah, I don't follow any denominations. You don't see division in the Bible. We're supposed to all have the mind of Christ. So de so so denominations in the world, they're not they're not appointed by God. He wants, he wants us all to be saved. I'm not saying that people in the churches on the street corners aren't following Jesus. I'm not saying that. But, but there's no, no denominations in the Bible. I just don't see it anywhere. Sure. We're all supposed to have the mind of Christ. So do you volunteer every week for all your work? Um, volunteer for my work? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm coming out here because Jesus told me to. Oh, is it your full-time work? Is it... Is it um, so... Yeah, I, have, I work. I have, I have a business. But, but what I'm trying to say is the Bible says go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Uh, so me as a born again Christian, I want to be obedient to God's word because I know what Jesus did for me. Jesus died on that cross for me, a brutal death. So the least I can do is, is, is obey him. Okay. And I want to see other people come to the faith. It's out of love. See, people read this and of course society thinks this is hate because it's convicting them of their sin. But this is actually love when you think about it because I want the greater good for people. I don't want them to go to hell. Because if you say, see at the end, hell awaits, but then there's good news. There is good news. Because I was on most of that list. I was so lost in sin. Yeah, from God. Amen. Yeah. Okay. Hallelujah. Yeah, I want um, people to come to Christ. Ask, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I, I understand a lot of why certain things are on here, but like, yeah. Muslims and false religions, that's yeah. something that I really don't get. Can you explain why? Yeah, so Muslims, yeah, now, now all of Christianity is based on Jesus Christ being the Son of God, dying for our sins and raising him to the grave. Muslims do not believe that Jesus is the Son of God. So just by that alone disqualifies Islam from being truth in terms of a Christian. They do not believe, now they believe in Jesus, but they don't believe he's the Son of God, they believe he's a prophet. Okay. So what do you think about Jewish people? Um, I love Jewish people. Jesus was a Jew. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, but they need to repent and come to Christ if they're not following him. You know, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and nobody comes to the Father except through me. So, so like I said, getting back to you, sir, Islam denies that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Um, there's a lot of other things. Islam came 600 years after the Bible. So I'm gonna go closer to the source. Those people that walked with Jesus, those people that talked with Jesus, and that would be the Holy Bible, you know? And I'm sorry, you asked something else. Just about, thank you for your Yeah, of course. Muslims and false religions. Yeah, so false religions would be, um, a false religion would be anything like uh, Hindus who don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, uh, Mormons, I don't believe that they believe Jesus is God in the flesh. Jehovah Witnesses don't believe that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. Um, you got to watch out with the Catholic religion. Catholics do believe that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. They believe him to be the Son of God, but they exalt Mary. They put Mary on a pedestal at the same level as Jesus. So, That's idolatry. You so would, you gotta, believe that <coughs> all these like specifications and all these different religions that some people use as their path to what they believe is holy and sacred right for them as all these little specifications in that they don't believe this one specific thing so that means that Jesus is going to send them to hell for eternity. That's a big thing because if they don't believe that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh, the Son of God who died for their sins, they have no forgiveness. Then he's going to make them suffer for eternity because they don't believe this one thing. Well, they make that they make that choice themselves. They're making that choice. So Hindus who have who were born in a Hindu household practice it all their life. Mm -hmm. Their entire community yeah. is Hindu. They are making a choice that's going to send them to hell for the rest of their life. Yeah, but eternity. but now do you know what God does? Right now, you guys might not know this, I'm an American like you, but God sends missionaries out all over the entire world. He sent me to be a missionary of Pennsylvania, New York City, um, New Jersey, wherever I go, you know, Maryland, wherever. So I'm a local missionary. I go out and preach God's word. God sends missionaries overseas to different countries to preach. God's using the internet, YouTube, Snapchat, all these places to spread the word. So right now God is spreading the word all over this world so that people might not perish. So they can make a choice to come to the knowledge of the truth. So you know? let's say you are a Muslim, mm -hmm. living in a Muslim community, yeah. and some random person who you've never met before comes from the other side of the world to tell you that, oh, if you don't drop everything that you believe right now and listen to what I'm telling you, you're going to spend eternity burning in hell because this person who, love, who loves you mm -hmm. um, has a problem with this one thing that you don't accept. It's a big thing, like I said. All of Christianity, if, if Jesus didn't die for our sins, my faith is useless and I'm still in my sins. If he didn't raise from the dead, my faith is useless. It's useless. All of Christianity stems on Jesus Christ dying for our sins and raising from the grave. He's giving us that path. He's showing us the way. He's showing us that we can be cleansed from all sin in our life. Now that Muslim you just said, because many Muslims are coming to the faith, someone can make a choice to search these things out. Just like you guys are a higher education right now, at Lehigh University, I'm assuming you are, I don't know. So, so you make choices, you study things, they can, can, they can do a study themselves and see whether these things be true. That's the nice thing about God, he gave us all free will. We can continue on in apathy, walk on by, or we can say, you know what, maybe I should look into this because if this guy's telling the truth, if, if the Bible is true, I'm not right with God and I need to get right with God. And that's happened in my life. That's happened in so many other people's lives. It happened on my living room couch. I didn't get saved in a church. I got saved on my living room couch in my house. Yeah. I knew I was in, I knew I was in sin. I knew I was on my way to hell. And if I would have died in that state, I would have went to hell. So, but Christ saved me, changed me. it's all about timing. Well, the time is now. It's urgent. Because I know you guys are young. I'm a lot older than you guys. But you could still die tonight. So if you die tonight, you're going to go to hell without Christ. And there's... Think about it, think about it this way. I would be the most hateful Christian if I had this truth and I believed this truth, which I do, and I just sat on my couch and did nothing. All so these people. About, like, and I'm asking this to learn, by the way. Yeah, of course. 100% I can see, your, yeah, I can see, yeah. Um, what about like young kids who like, when, when they don't go to hell. They don't go to no, hell. No, that's a, that's a false teaching of the Roman Catholic Church. That's why they brought water baptism in in the Roman Catholic Church because they believed that you were born sinful, that your flesh itself is sinful, so they believed that you had to get water baptized to wash away original sin. That's a doctrine of the Roman Catholic Church and that's false. The Bible says, <clears throat> the soul that sins it shall die in Ezekiel 18.20, the soul that sins it shall die. The son shall not bear the guilt of the father, 
nor the father bear the guilt of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. So it's showing that we're all held accountable for our own sin, our own sin. You're not going to hell because Adam sinned. His sin brought sin and death into the world, but you'd be going to hell because of your own sin and the choices you make. But that's why I'm here to tell you, there's an escape route. Turn to Jesus, follow Jesus, repent and believe, you know? And then I, I do have to go. Yeah, can I give you guys something to read? Do you guys want gospel tracks? Um, no, thank you. Okay. Actually. Yeah, I, whichever ones you guys want. All right, there's, there's uh, different ones. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So why, to me, the concept of God having to have a son mm -hmm. to die for sins yeah. takes away that like belief in our faith that God is like all merciful and all forgiving. Mm -hmm. or, like there doesn't have to be a condition for God to forgive yeah. except your belief in him. It's like then sending a son sort of as a sacrificial lamb. Yeah. Doesn't seem right, especially when it's in both of our... Do you want me to move? You want me to move, sir? On the okay, I'm Especially gonna move over here, guys. Both of our in both of our traditions, God yeah. didn't even let Abraham sacrifice his son. So how does he then send his own son to? Well, there needs to be an atonement for sin, and in Islam, you don't have an atonement. You repent. Yeah. You know what I mean? And of course, I believe in repentance. You know that. Yeah. So, but in Christianity, there must be an atonement, and Jesus Christ is that atonement. He was that perfect sacrifice who never sinned once, never lied once, never looked with lust once, never had a cuss word once well, out of his mouth. Prophet, yeah, so so in terms of Christianity, you need that atonement. Because right now, all you might be living a holy life now. I don't know your life. You might be not committing any haram. You might have no sin in your life. But, but well, no, no, no. That's the thing about Jesus. No, I'm, I'm when, from yeah, when he's... Yeah, when he sets us free, he can you can walk in freedom from sin. That's that's I don't know if Islam teaches you that, but but you can be set free from sin. Not just the penalty of sin in Christianity, but set free from the power of sin in your life. Like when I see an attractive woman and I have those thoughts where I want to do something lust or something like that, I take captive those thoughts and I make them obedient to Christ. He gives you a new heart. He puts a new spirit in you. So it's like it's like a super patch. It's like I feel that conviction, so I'm not going to sin. It doesn't mean that I lost my free will to sin. It doesn't mean that I can't sin in the future, but right now I'm living holy. I have no known sin in my life right now. I've been changed and cleansed by the blood of Jesus. It doesn't mean I haven't sinned in the past or, in the, or I can't sin in the future, but right now I'm living holy. So, and that's what comes with the belief in the atonement of Jesus, by him dying for your sins and raising him from the grave. That sacrifice was so precious. Jesus dying for all of humanity, you know, it's, you got to believe. The Bible says it pleases God through the foolishness of the preaching to save those who believe. Because people have to drop their pride. They got to lay down their pride and say, you know what? I'm going to turn to Christ. I'm going to humble myself and repent and believe the gospel. And in that moment, he's going to change you. Like I said, it happened to me 13 years ago on my couch in my house. I was going through a time. I was, I'm, I was going through a time of, uh, I was going through a time of, um, yeah, he, she, she, yeah, he's under conviction. He's been here for a while. I pray the Lord works on him. I really do. I don't, I don't hate anybody. I love them. That's why I'm out here. Uh, so, yeah, I fell under godly sorrow on my couch in my house. Uh, I was watching a movie, and all these things were leading me up to Jesus, leading me up to repentance. The Bible says, for godly sorrow produces repentance, leading to salvation. That's what happened in my life, not in a church, at my house. I was watching Jesus getting crucified over and over and over. And I realized that he did that for me. Like I was the only person in this earth, he died for my sins, my lies, my lust, my drunkenness, my porn watching. <clears throat> he died for me. And I repented and I went, came to Christ on that moment and I was changed. I was changed forever. When you have an encounter with Jesus, a true encounter with Jesus, he'll never turn back. He'll never turn back. Doesn't mean you can't turn back, because many people do, but I don't believe, I'm, I don't want to ever leave Jesus, you know? So how long? You, why are you a Muslim? Born into it. Um, That's what I hear from a lot of Muslims. Yeah, I wasn't born into Christ right. in the sense from the family. Yeah, but I don't know. I was like non religion I'm like I studied. I like yeah. read the Quran. Um, I like believe in it. Like I feel it helps me in like like the same way like you said you, you like felt it. I'm not like denying like what you felt. I can't yeah. tell you what you 
it. Yeah. But in that same sense, like I feel it. Like when I'm down, I feel like okay, like this is actually like doing something. You seem very humble as a Muslim because a lot of times when I talk to Muslims, some of them are not too humble. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. yeah. So you seem like very nice. But uh, yeah. So like I said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the only way. You know, he changed me, like I said, 13 years ago. And I would encourage everyone to come to Christ. Like I said, I was on most of this list before I was born again. I was a drunkard, thief, stole a lot of stuff in my teen years. Um, I wasn't a homosexual. I was a liar, fornicator, atheist. I wouldn't say I was an atheist. I always knew there was a God. And the Bible actually says that. The Bible says, although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God. And this is in Romans 1. So... At one point in someone's life, even if they're an atheist now or agnostic, there was a point in their life they knew there was a God. Whether they were a kid or a teenager, they saw creation, they knew there was a God. There was a reverence there for him, you know what I mean? But then life got in the way, sin, whatever it may be, and now it's easy just to deny God when you're living in sin. Because you don't want to believe there's a God. You don't want to believe that there's judgments coming. You know what I mean? So I always knew that there was a God, but I didn't repent and come to Christ, like I said, until 13 years ago. I played the whole church thing before that, went to church, brought my kids to Sunday school. Would, if someone would talk, stop me on the street, I would say, oh yeah, I'm a Christian. And I, probably, and I probably would have came against them if they were holding a sign like this, because I wasn't born again. I was just a Christian in name only. The Bible says in Titus 1.16, they profess to know God, but in works they deny him. They're abominable and disobedient, disqualified under every good work. So people can profess to know Jesus, they can profess to know God, but if the lifestyle they're living is contrary to God's word, F-bombs coming out of the mouth, filthy language, they're getting drunk, they're getting high, they're lying, they're watching porn, they're, they're living like the world, they're, they're deceived. And the Bible says over and over, it says, do not be deceived. Just screams for us not to be deceived, so. You're a deceiver. So I come out here because I really care for people and I love people. This might not seem like love, but the Bible says in Proverbs 27 to 5, 6, it says, Open rebuke is better than secret love. It says, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. So if I put my hand around someone who's living in sin and say, You're fine living like this. It's okay. Yeah, live like this. We're all just going to live this way. We're all going to live like sinners. That would be someone who hates them. I'm someone who's going to tell them the truth no matter what happens to me. Because I truly love them, I truly care for them, and I don't want them to go to hell. I want them to find salvation through Christ, and that's it. That's what drives me out here. The love for God, to see the edification of the body of Christ, body of the church, for other believers, and to see souls saved. Those are my three, three reasons for being out here, you know? Think about Noah. I'm sure most of you know Noah. He preached for a hundred years, and only eight people were saved in the flood. Maybe there was a couple million on the planet, eight people were saved that's how narrow the way is you know narrow the way is you know so it's got to get in christ he's our ark today talk to the ark of today hey have a good day guys have a good day yeah sure okay so yeah I just now came to Christianity. Hallelujah. I, Amen. I went back into the world sadly. Okay, you need to repent. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, I got overwhelmed by it because I also wanted to save my family and they were growing up into like Catholic yeah. and Jehovah Witness. Okay. So I preached them yeah. when I was with God and yeah. you know, I tried and I got very disencouraged and I like stepped back into the world. And now like today especially, like because I, I went back to smoking weed, so today I ran out. And every time I run out, I'm like, I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop. And that's yeah. the worst thing you tell yourself, because you keep doing it. So today I ran out, and for some reason, this one YouTube video I watched, it yeah. said, when you run into a street preacher, it's not for no reason. I've been here for 21 years. I, I grew up in the same area. I okay. Right up yeah, I'm right here. Never seen the street preacher really? Ever, ever. I've been preaching in Lehigh Valley for, man, for eight or nine years now. That's crazy. Yeah. I've never been introduced to Christianity. I, I always believed there was a God. I was yeah. interested when my grandma talked about Jehovah's Witness. But then I come into this, and I believe everything. Oh, like, hallelujah. Once I stepped away, I had to go through it to understand it. So, like, the stuff that I did read, the, the verses did come up. Yeah. Like, if I would go through it. Like, you know when you go through something, mm -hmm. the Bible verse would trigger in your head. Like, hallelujah. Yeah, that's yeah. the Holy Spirit's trying to speak yeah. to you. So, to repent. 
yeah. that, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, you need to repent of your uh, your smoke, your marijuana smoking, yeah. whatever sins in your life. Let me give you a good verse. It says in Hebrews 10, 26, for if we sin willfully after receive the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indign indignation that devours the adversary. Anyone who, who has rejected Moses' law dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Of how much worse punishment do you suppose will they be thought worthy who have trampled the Son of God underfoot and counted the blood of the covenant by which they're sanctified a common thing? In the end, God's going to judge his people. So by you going back to sin like this, you have no more sacrifice. You need to repent. You need to come back running back to Christ, come running right back, back to God like the prodigal son. Because right now you're living in sin, you admitted you're living in sin, and the Bible's clear, it says, the soul that sins, it shall die. You know, so I'm trying to put the fear of God in you. It says in uh, 2 Peter 2, 20 through 22, for after after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and overcome. The latter end is worse for them than the beginning. For it would have been better for them not to know the way of righteousness than having known it and turned from the holy commandment delivered them. But it has happened to them according to the true proverb, a dog returning to its own vomit and a soul that has been washed to the wall of his mind. Holy Spirit's trying to speak to you. My name's Eric. My name's Eric. Albert. Albert. Yeah. Holy Spirit's trying to speak to you. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That gospel track you're holding in your hand is, is, is what you need. That is what you need right now. Yeah. You see me early when I pass by in the car, I said, I'll come back. Yeah, hey, man, yeah, man, amen. I'm off of work right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I took this serious. Like, I was already thinking about it today. Like, I got to repent. Like, I got I to I gotta lock in again. That's it. Because I, I ran from it. Yeah. And now God's calling me nonstop, nonstop. Non yes, he is. And it's now, time to truly is. repent. Truly repent. Yeah. Give up all known sin I in your life. Exactly what you're doing. You can that, do it. You can do goal, it. Here. I didn't have it in me. Here, get, uh. Text if me. you want to give me your number, text me anytime. Yeah, um, it, it was Albert. Yeah. yeah text me. Name again? Uh, Eric. Eric. Yeah. yeah. Text me anytime, and you can come out with me. You can come preaching with me. You can. Yes. But you got to give up your sin. I got you. I yeah. Understand. You got to give it up. You can't be unholy coming out here. Because how can you tell people the truth if you're in it yourself? Yeah, if you're in it, yeah. The Bible. Because exactly Jesus, Jesus is really against hypocrites. Yeah. If you know the Bible. He had the hardest things to say about the Pharisees, the hypocrites. They say, but they don't do. Right. You know what I mean? So just make sure that whatever sin in you have you in life. Um, if, you're, if you're having temptation. Yeah, how do I avoid it? Because my yeah. family doesn't. And that's the only reason I came back into it. I'll, do, I'll, t I'll tell you what. I have a teaching on that. I can send you the link. Okay. I'll text you the link. Okay. okay. It shows you how to stay, say no to temptation, say no to sin, and be free from sin. And it's all biblical. You, you will. You, I'm giving you the Bible. You line it up with the scriptures. It's all in the verses. Yeah, it's all in the verses, and the power of God in your life, the Holy Spirit. You know what I mean? Without that, you know, we we can't overcome. It gives us that Holy Spirit. But Albert, it was really just great talking to you. And I would encourage you, give it up today. Throw it up today. Give it all up today. Give it all up today. Albert, you know, the Lord's calling you. And sometimes that calling might stop. Yeah. Okay. I was that interested. Yeah. Me yeah. Here, let me give you these verses right now. Like I said, I'm trying to put the fear of God in you because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. Um, let me go here. Uh, Proverbs 1. This is, what is that? This is scary. Wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in the open squares. She cries out in the chief concourses at the opening of the gates of the city. She speaks her words. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn at my rebuke. Surely I will pour out my spirit upon you. I will make my words known to you. Now listen to this. Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no one regarded. Because you disdained all of my counsel and would have none of my rebuke, I also will laugh at your calamity. These are the words of God. Mm -hmm. I will mock when your terror comes. When your terror comes like a storm and destruction like a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call on me, but I will, I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. 
They would have none of my counsel and despise my ever rebuke. Therefore they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled to the full of their own fancies. For the turning away of the simple will slay them and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear of evil. You continue to harden your heart to God's rebuke. There could come a day that he's gonna laugh at your calamity. So you gotta take it serious. You gotta have the fear of God in your life. That fear will keep you away from sin. It's a reverence for God, yeah. knowing that he's a holy God. The Bible says, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. I felt that at first. When I first started, I felt fear like Yeah, no. and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing because it keeps you from no, sin. I definitely hard in my heart, though. I feel it. Yeah, you got to come back. I know. Yeah, you got to repent. I don't think you would totally harden your heart because you wouldn't be talking oh, to me. No, no. Yeah, you wouldn't be talking to me right now. I told you I felt it. It was definitely today. Amen. Amen. Like I said, Albert, amen. You text me. And I'll text you that link, okay? Right. And if, I, I don't think I'll forget, but if I do say, hey, Eric, it was great yeah, meeting you. Can you send me that link? Yeah. yeah. Praise God. Amen, man. Yeah. Amen. All right. <coughs> uh, yeah, it's called You Better Preach. <laughs>